Hello friends. Today we'll study the matrices for solving equation. For this little bit amount of uh, matrices knowledge you should need like what is the transpose of a matrix and what is the determinant and not much. Now let's start with the matrices for solving two equations. For example, we are here having two equations. 2x plus y is equal to 3 and minus 6x plus 6y is equal to 6. Now, if we plot this particular equation graphically, we know that whenever we are having an equation with a single variable x, then it is considered to be a linear equation. A linear equation can be seen in the terms of y is equal to mx plus c. See, this y means what this y and this m is the slope of that particular line. Now, if we see in this particular graph, when we are representing 2x plus y is equal to 3, we need to convert this equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So, we are transferring this y here and then minus 2x, will, when, we, when, when we will coming this 2x into in the right hand side, it will be the minus. Hence, the equations are y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 and y is equal to minus 6x. Minus, it will be positive, 6x plus 6 divided by 6. If we take 6 common, then we get x plus 1. Therefore, we are having two equations, y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 and y is equal to x plus 1. Now, let's plot this in the form of the graph. See, this is the equation. What I have done to plot a graph where in a very simple manner, put in the first equation, y is equal to 2x plus 3, first consider x is equal to 0 and then consider y is equal to 0. When you are considering, see, this is the line for two, y is equal to minus 2x plus 3. In this case, this is the point. First point is 0, 3. That is y, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3. And the second point becomes x, y is, x is equal to 1.5 and y is equal to 0. So, we are plotting first line. Similarly, for the next equation, y is equal to x plus 1, we are plotting the next line. That becomes y is equal to x plus 1. This is our equation. Now, when we are solving the matrices, we can say that we need this intersection point. When we are solving the graph for 2x plus y is equal to 3, each and every, every value of x and y will satisfy this equation. Similarly, for the second equation. But now, when we are solving for these two equations, we will get some intersection point and that particular point will be solving for both the equation. It will fulfill both the points. So, let's go for the second page. Now, when we are solving this equation, we have to find the point. This can be represented in the form of the matrix. See, we remember this line that is y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 and the other line that is y is equal to x plus 1. We are transferring this in the matrix format. Now, the first matrix would be 2 minus 6, 1, 6. That is this value, 2 minus 6, 1 and 6. And the second will be x, y. That is for, for what values we are calculating and the third parameter will be the values this 3 and 6. This is considered to be an A matrix. This is my x vector. It can be y. It can be anything, any type of alphabet. Please don't confuse this x with this x. This x is different. And this is the vector B for which we are solving. Now, in the matrix notation, this particular equation can be written as Ax plus B. So, if you have idea about the matrix mul multiplication, you can see 2x plus y is equal to 3. This is the same equation as here. Similarly, minus 6x plus 6x is equal to 6. This is the same equation as here. So, this becomes a matrix notation of any equation. When we are having n number of equations and n number of variables, at that particular time, you can see how easy it becomes to calculate. Now, in the matrix notation, we can say a if we are multiplying with it, this with a inverse. That is, for example, if we are calculating any, any variable, for example, ax is equal to b, what do you do? You, you say x is equal to b by a. That means you are multiplying a inverse with both the side. In the same case, we are doing with the matrix. We are doing a inverse of ax is equal to a inverse of b. That means a inverse into a is identity matrix or 1. Like a divided by a is equal to 1. Identity matrix into x is equal to a inverse of b. Then the second step comes like x is equal to a inverse of b. For this x is this particular, this x. So for any values or any number of variables, this is, there will be a single equation and we can calculate all the variables. Now we should know how to find the a inverse. It is a simple 2 by 2 matrix. Therefore, a inverse is calculated as 
a transpose which would be multiplied by the determinant of a a transpose of a 2 by 2 matrix this is our matrix now the determinant is calculate normal 2 into 6 minus my 1 into minus 1 this is a determinant and when we are calculating the transpose for a 2 by 2 matrix for we just swap this position uh, we just swap this position and for this we change the signs and we have done the same thing so 1 into 2 multiplied by 6 minus 1 multiplied by minus 6 and this transports 2 6 minus 1 minus of minus 6 so we get the transport so this becomes 1 upon 12 plus 6 into 6 of minus 1 minus of minus 6 that is positive 6 and 2 so we come into the calculation that a inverse is this 1 by 18 in, into this matrix now we know ax was equal to b that is x was equal to a inverse of b now this is my this is my a inverse that we have calculated and what was my b b was my this matrix 3 by 6 so when we calculate this we see that 1 by 18 into this is again matrix multiplication 6 into 3 that is 80 minus of 6 6 into 3 plus this so it comes out to be this and when we calculate this it comes out to be 12 by 18 and 30 by 18 which is approximately equal to 2 by 3 and 5 by 3 so we can say the values of x and y comes to be x is equal to 2 by 3 and x is equal to 5 by 3 these this values of 2 by 3 and 5 by 3 is my th these points now i can say if i calculated this particular equation very normally that is 2x plus y is equal to 3 minus 6x plus 6y is equal to 6 without the matrix how we are calculating we are calculating as for example multiply this full equation by 3 you get 6x plus 3y is equal to 9 minus 6x plus 6y is equal to 6 and now we are just adding the, up this equation you get 0 is equal to 9 0 plus 9y is equal to 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 that is y is equal to 15 by 9 which is equal to 3 3 is a 9 and 3 5 is a 15 again 5 by 3 so you are getting y is equal to 5 by 3 and just by matrix multiplication again you are getting y is equal to 5 by 3 therefore you should understand like when we are having n number of variables or n number of equations then it, th this method becomes very easy now the motive of this video is the first a simple form of a matrix calculation because whenever you are going for the data science each and everything that you will see is in the terms of matrix or vectors. You must have heard about TensorFlow. TensorFlow is nothing but all, all maths about matrices. How the computer calculates, what we will calculate. So, this is the basics of matrices you should know. Thank you, friends. Bye.